the channel to the returning dolls and gents. What's up, y'all? And if this is your first time stopping by, I want to say welcome to the channel. I be dolls. My name is Melinda. And on this channel, sometimes I make it funky, sometimes I make it sassy, but I always keep it classy. Now, before we go any further, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time videos are uploaded, okay? Today, I am here to bring you a bridal hairstyle. Yes, I'm going to do a bridal hairstyle. Um, just to give you some inspiration on what you can do. This style can be done on relaxed and natural hair. Okay, now this is the week leading up to the week that I got married. I will be celebrating my 11th wedding anniversary on June 27th. Yes, 11 years married to my handsome husband. All right, um, so we're going to jump into it. Like I said, natural hair, relaxed hair, in between you can achieve this look and this is a look that is on a budget this is a bridal look on a budget if you can't get to the salon and you want to do this yourself or if you like this style and you want to take it to your hairstylist and so she can achieve it hey share the video with her okay also if you are in South Carolina, in the upper state of South Carolina or the lower state of South Carolina, by all means, get in contact with me and I can hook you up. Face, hair, your entire bridal party. Yes, I can do that for you. So all you have to do is hit me up, baby, and I'll make it happen. All right, because I am a hairstylist and a makeup artist. Okay, so let's jump right on into this look. Today we're going to use, I'm going to be using just a simple pack of $2 hair. That's why I said this is a bridal look on budget, okay? And uh, this is the 100% uh, can of Kalan, and it's just your regular braiding hair, okay? Just your regular thick canical braiding hair not the pre-stretched hair just the regular uh, braiding hair and my hair is already up in a ball okay and we are going to go ahead and get started all right, and I am, I have it on a scrunchie already looped and everything. I didn't do this on camera because I already had this on hand. This is reusable. I reused this. So I'm going to show you how I create. You just want to wrap it on. Okay. Like so. And now you have it all free. All free. And what I like to do, because the hair was basically already kind of in two sections, I want to take it and separate it into two sections and get one section kind of out of my way. Okay. And what I'm going to do is take that one of those sections and make two sections take that half a section and make enough take that one and make it into two okay now I'm going to throw that one back out of my way and what I'm going to do is section that one and I'm going to twist. I'm going to just twist it. Into a nice twist. All the way down to the end.
and then I'm going to take a scrunchie. You can take a rubber band if you like, but I'm taking a scrunchie because I reuse the hair and I don't like for the rubber bands to get all tangled up in the hair. Sometimes it does, like so. Okay, now, and it just kind of loosens up. Now, I'm going to kick that out the way, take that other section do the same thing so what I'm doing is I am twisting all the sections and I want to go ahead and get them twisted first all the way to the end just some quick bridal inspiration as I said, if you all have not subscribed, I suggest that you do. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. I'm taking the scrunchie. Like so. And I am making a knot. Securing it out of the way. All right. Now, we have gotten that half done. Now, we're working on the other, the first, the other half. We're splitting it in two. Throwing that one out of the way. Splitting it in two. This is just one pack of Camelon here. One pack, y'all. Taking it all the way to the end, as I did the first two. We're doing all four sections the exact same way. All right. I like to take the end, fold it back put my scrunchie on so that there's kind of like a little knot at the bottom and I'm not trying to cut the hair here I'm just leaving that like so go that out of the way let's take that last section do the exact same thing twist it you can twist this tight or as loose as you like but when you let it go of course you see it's going to kind of poof up so I like to kind of twist tight so that way when my when I let it go and it poofs up it doesn't be too too poofy it's still going to stay twisted because you secure it at the end but I don't want it to be too too poofy now see how tight that is that's like a rope Okay, same thing. You wanna tie that scrunchie around it. And like I said, I do little these little elastic bands because I like to reuse the hair. Now watch it. See, it poofs right back up. Alright. Alright. Now we got four of these babies four of them all right so what we're going to do what i'm going to do i'm going to take this smaller one because this one seems to be kind of like the smallest and i'm going to cover that my hair i'm going to cover that ball and i'm going to secure it with a hair pin okay right at the base I am securing it okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place another one to kind of this this fluffy part here I want to secure that now too because I'm going to start wrapping this one around and I don't want it to 
sit up too high. So I'm going to take it and take it under and wrap it around until it comes all around and finish. Then I'm going to take the and stick it under what I wrapped. Pin. And you want to try to hide all of that. So you can just nicely tuck that in. Okay. Like so. All right. Now we got three pieces left. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the one that was closest to it. And I'm going to wrap it around the other direction. And I didn't notice I didn't pin anything. And I'm going to pin this part, the last part. Kind of tuck it underneath and pin like so. Okay. Now, we got two pieces left. Now, there are some that's kind of sticking up right here. So I want to make sure that it's neat. So I'm going to take some pins and just pin that down just to make sure that it's neat. All right. Now, this part here, two sections left. I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap it, twirl it. I want to kind of make sure that it's close together, like so. And I'm just going to twist, twist, hold it in my hand, make sure that it's staying together, and twist, and twist. And what I want to do is lay it flat. And then I'm going to take hairpins and just secure it down secure the center like so okay secure the front with the pin like so okay you're gonna always have some of them little hairs wanna stick off on you okay now see how where we're at we got one piece left and I'm gonna do the exact same thing I'm gonna take it and twirl it and pin it down. And I'm gonna kind of connect the two. I'm gonna pin the first one with the second one. And I like to try to hold it, hold my hand there to hold it in place to make sure that it is secure. And then I'm going to pin this in as well to make sure that it is nice and neat and close to my head and not sticking off the head. So I'm just pinning down any pieces that I feel need to be pinned. Now see, you notice that you can kind of see that knot and I wanna secure that knot and make sure that is secure. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I want to make this a little bit flatter as well. 
There we go. Because I like it close to my head and not sticking off. Okay. And any little pieces that's kind of flying away, you can always pin them. So have you enough pins to pin it all down. Yes. Now I'm going to come back with some more finishing touches to make it all look bright. Keep on watching y'all to see how I be dolled if it was my wedding day again. Keep on watching y'all. This look is going to come together and you're going to say, wow, look at that bridal hair on a budget keep on watching y'all okay y'all we are going to put on the finishing touches now let's finish up this gorgeous budget friendly budget friendly bridal hair okay all right i'm going to accessorize it now with these beautiful, beautiful pins, hair pins. And we're just going to take this look, look, up a notch. We're going to take it up a notch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take this whole look to another level. Let's see? Oh, yeah. yeah. You feeling it? <laughs> Are you feeling it? I can't hear you. Are you feeling it? Girl. Y'all wasn't ready for this. I know you wasn't. I know you had no, no idea where I was taking y'all. You had no idea? I know you did. Mm -mm. Uh, no, ma'am. I know you had no idea where this was going. even yes dolls yes yes dolls and gents did it come together did it come together this style can be worn on natural or relaxed hair honey i am of course relaxed but a natural girl can achieve this same look so make sure you share this with your hairstylist if you cannot afford any bundles. Make sure you share this with your sister, that your little cousin that knows how to do a little bit of hair. And hey, share this video with them so that they can get you right for your special day, okay? And as I stated, if you are in South Carolina, in the lower state or upper state of South Carolina, hit me up. I will be glad to glam you up for your beautiful wedding day. Okay? So, this is it. I'm going to turn around and let you all see the back. This is it for the look. Nice and simple. Nice and cool. <laughs> Nice and everything for your beautiful day. On a budget, y'all. This hairstyle came out phenomenally beautiful. The jury took it to another level. It was beautiful all by itself. But the accessories on the style just made it pop. So I am absolutely in love with the way that it turned out. I hope you all love it too. Make sure you leave me a comment and tell me what you think about this, y'all. 
let me know what you think about this bridal look on a budget until the next time i'll see y'all in my next video i want to thank you for watching and bye bye